Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another video. If you are new here, please do subscribe to the channel. Check out the videos that I film. It's mostly lifestyle videos and a lot of sit down videos as well. But uh, thank you for being here. And if you can see in the title down below, we're going to be talking about sexual hygiene today because this is something that I get asked about a lot as well please do an updated video on feminine hygiene please do an updated video on sexual hygiene and all of that so well sexual hygiene is the first time i'm doing it chat <laughs> okay and this one is a little bit spicy because i don't know i don't really talk about um you know what people do pre post during the sexuals but we're going to talk about it we're going to talk about it we're grown-ups here we're all grown here so i'm just going to make a disclaimer if you are not above 18 please do not watch this video and if you are mom and you are sitting with if you're sitting with your children do not watch this video please don't watch this video um so welcome to the channel please do subscribe to the channel and also follow me on my social media i will link all those things down below and i'll also feature them throughout the video we're going to be talking about sexual hygiene let's get into the video um, so sexual hygiene is really, really important if you are somebody who is currently sexually active and if you have been for the past couple of years or number of years and you've been sexually active you know that there are things that you're going to develop or learn along the way that will help you in terms of your sexual hygiene and making sure that everything is flowing all right with your petunia downstairs and making sure that everything is okay when you go into the bedroom and when you do what you do in the bedroom and after you do what you do in the bedroom. Maybe you're doing it in the kitchen, chat. Maybe you're doing it in the kitchen. Maybe you're doing it on the sofa, in the lounge. I don't care where you're doing it. In the park, in the car. Listen, sexual hygiene tips are really, really important. So we're going to talk about them today. So before I get into the video with um, pre, pre sex sexual hygiene tips, I'm going to make sure that I mention these two things okay so please sex must be consensual okay because if it is not consensual none of what i'm talking about today is going to matter so please make sure that if you are having sex it is consensual this is when these hygiene tips are going to come into play for you and for your partner and if it is not then you shouldn't even be watching this video because you've got bigger problems to deal with okay if you are having non-consensual sex you've got bigger problems to deal with all right let's let's just make that clear okay so pre-sexual hygiene tips that i would recommend or that i have written everything down cha i always write things down so pre-sexual hygiene tips that i would recommend in an ideal world in an ideal world we would like to freshen up or potentially even shower or take a bath before sex commences any form of sexual anything not only just the intercourse but there's other things that happen before sex happens you know there's that the foreplay you know you're gonna bamba bamba you know you're gonna hold you're gonna do you're gonna play with things you're gonna do the things so in an ideal world we really would you know it would be lovely if one could take a shower or take a bath before sex commences but a lot of the time you know things get spiced up you know you 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 can't maybe you just it's a it's a late night out you lady it's you and your boo you know what i'm saying or you're in the car or you're in a lift or you're in a whatever you know you're trying to spice things up you're in the park and everything hey amen what you do and where you do your sexual business is none of my business but in an ideal world freshening up before sexual intercourse is something that I would highly recommend so sometimes we cannot shower okay and I understand that point but that's why there are things like intimate wipes or refresher wipes or just go into the bathroom baby girl and just you know, just solar, just wipe down with a warm cloth and um, just wipe down your, you know, your hoo-ha, wipe down all your bits, you know, your female bits, your bum, your anything that uh, where sex is going to happen, wipe it down. 
okay just freshen up and what i love is uh Lilith has intimate wipes i know summer's eve also has intimate wipes that are really really great that can be used by the men and by women as well so men also have their own intimate wipes but it's really really highly recommendable that you um pick up some intimate wipes especially if you're somebody who is uh sexually active I really highly recommend that you pick up some sexual <laughs> some sexual wipes chat there's a lot of sex sex sexual sex a lot of that happening I really recommend that you pick up some intimate wipes another thing is wash your hands now I'm gonna say that because this is really really important hands carry germs we know this we live in a period of covovotron we live in a period of transformatron we know how hands make things travel Okay, and I really want to emphasize this, especially with people with long nails. Really, really important that you wash your hands thoroughly before you get into the business of the day, of the bedroom, of the zanga, zanga, zanga. Before you do all of that, I really highly recommend that you wash your hands and you make sure that the, 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 the space in between like this little tough space in between your nails you wash that out because we don't know where your nails are gonna go we don't know where your fingers are gonna go <laughs> you know what I'm saying so make sure that you wash your hands so as to protect your partner and yourself from getting any kinds of infections or any kinds of irritations and anything like that so pre sex what I would definitely recommend is that you wash your hands and you freshen up your body so that you are ready, right? You're ready and that there's no lingering bacteria. Again, something else that I would always recommend, pre-sex if you've got the time, but this is just a consistent one right throughout, shave. I feel like if you shave, I mean, look, we have a group of people in the world. Uh, <laughs> we have a group of people in the world who don't want to shave they don't want to shave their armpits they don't want to shave their their their, their, their putang tangs they don't want to shave their legs arms whatever it's fine there are certain people who do not want to shave and each to their own but if you are somebody who does shave i highly recommend that you just trim it up a little bit you know what I'm saying? It doesn't have to be completely Brazilian wax. It doesn't necessarily have to be completely baby's butt cheeks of dang smooth. But just trim it up a little bit because people's mouths are going to go there. Okay? People's mouths are going to go there. Oh my God, I can't believe I'm saying this shit. <laughs> people's mouths are going to go there. People's tongues are going to go there. Uh, things are gonna happen people's hands are gonna go there so please if you could try maybe just freshen up and also maybe trim it up a little bit down there that would be great you don't have to be brazilian wexering but trim it up a little bit that would be fantastic too okay 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 now during during the sexual intercourse this is each to their own i would highly recommend that you wrap it up Wear a condom if you can. This is helping us, uh, you know, not entertain things like STDs and STIs. Wrap it up if you can, whether male or female, wrap it up if you can. I really would highly recommend that you do that, especially during the sexual intercourse. Again, if you're somebody who uses toys, during sexual intercourse, make sure your toys have been washed and they have been sterilized. Sexual hygiene is really, really important. And toys, toys, minds, toys, minds, okay. Toys carry a lot of germs with them, so you have to make sure that you sterilize them and you wash them properly between each and every sexual encounter or sexual session. So please do make sure that you sterilize and wash your toys as well if you're going to be using them during your sexual moment. Really, really important to note that. So wrap, wrap it up. Always make sure that you are... Um, you have washed and sterilized your toys or anything that you're going to be bringing into the bedroom. Also, another point, please do not use things like cucumbers or any form of whatever food item or vegetable item or uh, anything that is not 
asexually <laughs> anything that is not sexually certified as a toy do not use food groups guys okay don't use no especially if you're gonna use it to put it or insert it somewhere do not use it please do not use it it, it will be a breeding ground for germs you could get sick you could struggle with things like thrush and UTIs and all sorts of things do not use foodstuffs as entertainment in the bedroom sexual hygiene is really really important here do not use food groups please don't use food groups in the bedroom uh, if you're going to use food use it as foreplay use strawberries and cream whatever if you're gonna da, 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 it's fine but also also make sure that you wipe it up before there's any penetration or anything like that because you will scream okay you will scream and if there's something else that i need to mention if you're going to be one of those wild cats okay and you're going to want to have sex at the beach make sure that there's a towel or something that you are lying on top of because if if sand gets into your vajay you're gonna have a problem okay you're gonna have a serious serious problem you are not your pee is gonna burn you're gonna have bacteria up in your vagina you are not gonna have a good time in the moments following that so please if you're going to be you know getting excited and having sexual intercourse in the outside by the grass by the sand by the by the by the things please make sure that there is a barrier between the grass or the sand and you preferably a towel or a blanket or whatever really really important really really important. and then another point that i have to mention is always always front to back when it comes to your sexual positions always start with the front and then end with the back and the reason why i say this is because if you're somebody who enjoys anal sex Okay, we're gonna say it if you're somebody who enjoys anal sex do not ever ever have anal sex first and then he just takes it out and he sticks it in the front especially if you're a female you are gonna have a problem you're gonna have thrush you're gonna have uh, a UTI infection well a urinary tract infection you are not gonna have a good time following that okay so if you're somebody who enjoys anal sex and you have a good time with it always start in the front and then move to the back and preferably before you move from front to back whether you're wearing a condom or not either or if you are wearing a condom if he takes it out from the front please change the condom before you put it in the back and vice versa please and if he doesn't or if they don't then make sure that you wipe down first before you move from the front to the back or back to the front but highly always recommendable that you start in the front and you take it to the back okay if you enjoy okay so if you're going to be fingering the reason why i said wash your hands and all of that if you're going to be I'm saying all these things I'm sorry I, I hope this video doesn't get flagged and all of that but if you're going to be doing all those kinds of things yeah understand me it's really really important to wash your nails wash your hands so that when you're gonna do all the playing playing like this okay you make sure that your hands and your nails are clean so that the other person doesn't catch something from you. Whether you're putting it in the vajay, whether you're putting it in the back, it's up to you. It doesn't matter. That's none of our business. We're not going to ask what you do behind closed doors, okay, honey? Uh, you just need to make sure that you have washed your hands, okay? Wash your hands. Make sure that the person you are playing around with is protected and so are you, okay? Okay. The next point I'm going to make is post sex. Now, at this point, if you've been sexually active for a while, you will know these points. Okay, you will know these points. Um, one, definitely, definitely make sure that you pee after sex. Really, really important, especially with a man, woman, they, them. It doesn't matter who you are. Make sure that you pee after sex. It's really important. To clear out the urinary tract from any kind of bacteria or anything that may have formed 
or placed itself in your urinary tract during sex. So it's really, doctors will also recommend it all the time to always pee after sex. Any, any round, you can have five rounds in that night. Pee, 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 pee. Pee after all of those rounds. It is really, really important so that it keeps your urinary tract clear of bacteria. It doesn't always guarantee it, but it's highly recommendable that you pee after sex. If you are somebody who has sex regularly or you live with your partner and you have sex every single night and all of that, please change out your sheets. Okay? Please change out your sheets because certain things land up on the sheets, right? You know what I'm saying? And that is also a breeding ground. That becomes a breeding ground for bacteria and all of that. If you do not want to change out your sheets, always place a towel or place... If you ain't trying to change out your sheets every two days, child, always place a towel or place something so that you know that the bacteria just falls onto the... Oh, well, your juices. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, you make sure that your juices, his juices, all of that falls onto the towel and then the towel can be thrown in the wash. Really, really important to keep a towel with you. Have you ever noticed when you're growing up and you see your cousins or you see your parents, or it's very unfortunate if you see your parents being intimate, but, um, and you see that there's always a towel or they'll take a towel and they go into the room and they close the door. It's really, really important to have a towel. Have a towel with you during any form of sexual intimacy. Very, very important uh, to clean yourself up. Also, post-sex, go and wipe yourself down. After you pee, wipe yourself down. If you know that uh, you're not going to have another round and, and you're pretty much done for the evening and you're going to go to bed, then wipe yourself down. Uh, another thing that I also recommend is do not wear underwear. If you're not going to be, um, I know this is sounding a little bit crazy, but I hear my chat, okay? If you're not going to be having any more rounds after that, do not wear underwear. Give your lady parts time to clean out with your juices and all of that, um, um, whatever is coming out of your vulva, out of your vagina on the inside, not just the vulva. Uh, whatever is coming out of, sorry, that's my, uh, what's this thing? Power back. So give your, your body the time to clean out and get rid of whatever is coming out of your vagina, vulva, anything that's coming out of there. Try not to wear underwear when you are done. Because if it you're wearing underwear and it sticks to the underwear and that's constantly as you're sleeping rubbing up against your vulva and all of that, that might also be a breeding ground for germs or bacteria. So try not to be wearing any underwear. Just let it flow, baby. Let it flow. Let it flow. Um, yeah. Also, that's pretty much it from me. And then the generic points that I'm going to add that everybody who's sexually active is probably familiar with at this point, see your gynecologist regularly. Uh, schedule appointments for a pap smear once every two or three years. If you can, also schedule just regular checkups with your gynecologist. All you need to do is go to your gynecologist at the very least once a year. Schedule a checkup so that they can pull things things you know make tests and make sure that you're uh do tests sorry and make sure that you're okay do all of that really really important to do that um and just make sure that you're always just you know up to date man with your sexual hygiene shave feminine hygiene is also important because i feel like it goes hand in hand with uh, sexual hygiene but i will do an updated feminine hygiene video but make sure that you shave uh also make sure that you are looking after yourself and looking after your vagina. One thing or your sexual parts, okay? I'm so sorry about that, your sexual parts. One thing that I will always, always recommend and I've always recommended it and I'm not gonna stop today is drink a lot of water. Drinking a lot of water helps flush out anything that might be lingering in there because when you drink a lot of water, you're more inclined to pee quite more often that's me, that's my life, um, and it really, really helps keep uh, the, 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 the urinary tract 
in a good place in a good place. Uh, I'm so glad that this video is over <laughs> that's pretty much it from me if you enjoyed this video if you want any more feminine hygiene or any kind of other tips that you would like me to talk around please let me know down below don't forget to follow me on Instagram also don't forget to subscribe click the notification bell and I will see you in the next video until then sayonara and I'll see you soon